Ladies and gentlemen, geometry has officially been conquered. Come on. <laughs> I wish I had one of those popper things. So if you're new, these update videos are specifically made to track the progress from going from seventh grade math all the way to calculus two using Khan Academy so that theoretically anyone, regardless of their current math skill, can have a framework and a realistic time expectation of how long it will take them to get to the point mathematically where they're then able to take on MIT computer science content. So with that being said, from July 6th to July 27th, I clocked a total of 41.17 hours, which comes out to roughly 112 minutes a day. And in that time frame, I completed Algebra 1, I finally capped that off, and I capped off Geometry as well, which puts me this far in my total progress. Now, for me personally, I'm trying to get done with Calculus 2 by the start of November. So for me, I'm trying to shoot for roughly two hours of math per day so I can stay on target with that. And my measurement for moving on to the next subject is when Khan Academy gives me 100% for that subject in my dashboard. Now that I'm further along and I've gone through a few subjects, I think I can speak more towards how to go through each subject better. For example, Algebra 1, I watched around half the videos on Khan Academy and spent most of my time doing practice problems and figuring them out in multiple ways. Whereas in geometry, there's a lot of theorems and proofs that underpin geometry. And I think getting the intuition behind those theorems is the best way to learn it. So in geometry, I ended up spending almost all of my time watching all of the videos. Also, when planning out how much math you're trying to do in a day, I think it's important to note that each subject is going to take longer than the one prior. So for me personally, I think two hours a day is the sweet spot for my time frame, which is completing all of the math in six months. Now, if you're going through this, it's certainly challenging, but I think we can take heart in knowing that we're getting as prepared as possible. We are putting in as much work as possible to get ready for the MIT computer science content. And I think when we start that, you'll realize that this work is going to pay off. Lastly, just as a side note, I included a geometry video down in the description from Khan Academy that shows how Abraham Lincoln used geometry to become a better lawyer. It was super fascinating to me, and if you're interested, check that out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.